This is my Victor V9 vacuum cleaner, very generously donated to the channel by Victor themselves for over two years ago now and I've just finished filming the Mila Blizzard first look video and ah, bless him, he's starting to smell a fair bit, he weighs a lot as well. Oh, this really sucks up is what you saw in the Mila video, it's bagless vacuums that are just full of plaster dust, full of talcum powder, full of fine dust, so yeah, he does pong and get whiffy. So, it's time to have a look, time to have a look at probably the main star of this channel. Currently, nobody sent me anything better or a challenger to the Victor V9 yes and there are lots of things I like about it too. Let's have a look and essentially fit a new bag to my bench bag. Oh, such treats you are having. Let's have a look. Hello my vacuum cleaner and Victor chums, as I know there are a lot of you, Victor have been going for a good old while, this is as of 2023, their current model, you know, the current generation with the, check my notes here, 700 watt motor, there has been a video where we looked inside of this, so scrub back through the playlist to have a look and yeah all I've really done is abuse it occasionally it's just been used to clean the house if I've had it out and have wanted to go around but essentially it's just been abused with the hose which is holding up really well and I mean again you've seen where I shoved this thing and again it only looks as bad as it does now because we're fresh off of filming a video on it so if we wipe off the dust Again, we scrub filters, we put this into random holes, we've done all sorts. All of a sudden, it's pretty flipping good. It's a bit scuffed and scratched because it's been on and off the small tool a lot. This nozzle release is it's all right, really. It's, it stays fairly strong. Sometimes it opens a little crack, but bar that, it's okay. This end, oh, blimey, has been fine. Yeah, look at the... Look at the state of him, we're not going to care about that too much for now, but that is what we're dealing with. Let us remove the top filter came with it, that was a good sneak peek of the spotless filter. I mean, here you go, done, refurbished, I mean, okay, if I'm going to be very particular, there is a fine layer of dust all over it, but considering what is in that bag. I'm very happy. And again, these aren't genuine bags. There was a paper bag in it once and I filled it full. Again, there's a video on there and it wasn't bad. But I bought these knockoff HEPA flow bags, which work really well. And in fact, there's our filter done. Let's just weigh one of these bags. They're gonna be on naught. An empty bag weighs 58 grams. Two ounces. Ah, back to grams, because I know what grams mean. This is the bag that is coming out of this. It weighs, oh my goodness, it's, it, it's erroring. 1.8 kilograms. I can't get it to stand up, that's the problem. I don't want to push down, there you go. Oh, oh, 1.742 kilograms of dirt that is that is quite a lot of dirt and it's all just heavy dense plaster dust that's pretty cool let's have a look at what state the bucket's in because again you can see some little bits well, that's pretty impressive yeah 1.8 grams down to 60 grams this thing is going to weigh absolutely nothing yeah there's been a little bit of dust leakage in here i'm not going to say i'm that upset about it especially again considering what i know i've thrown at it it just smells if you change the bag more regularly i mean if you're using this properly and we're doing a bag a week you would use paper bags and they would be fine because they would get changed long before they would sit in the cupboard for a few weeks and smell. 
I'm very happy to be. Give it all a bit of a wipe down. It's been here. Yeah, it's been to the church. It's done this. It's done that. We can pop our new bag into place. Put our filter on. I guess we'd best give this top bit a slight clean. Because yeah, he he does get the wedding stain on him. He sits at the bottom of my cupboard. And if I don't use him, he gets buried. But look at that. It just comes back up mostly with a good old clean. And it's a commercial grade vacuum cleaner. Technically, I baby it. And it shows. <laughs> Very nice indeed. Oh, look, there's a little bit of carbon dust starting to show around the edges. That's fine, though. That's good. Give it a bit of a clean, and then it won't get that bad. Just like that, I would call my Victor V9 fully serviced and ready for many more years of use and well, many more months of this bag. Ooh. I nearly picked the whole machine up. It is astonishingly good. Awesome. Here is the crevice tool that came with it and it's holding up again very well considering where it's been shoved and what we've scraped up with this it's been used for the car and stuff because this makes a very nice car vacuum. Here is the dust in brush and again you know how much abuse we've given this. It gets scraped on the carpet. It's still got the dust in it from being shoved inside that mirror and it's still going arguably I would say better than the pneumatic one that came with the MBV and if I give that a clean out inside of there and inside of there that might stop the hose end from getting so scuffed. So 24 out of 10 for the Victor V9 my bench vac can continue to do all the dirty work for us for many years to come and yeah he, it works very well. What I like is being able to take the cable off take the hose off and be able to put it somewhere. In fact, I keep meaning to buy a second cable so I can chop it right down. It doesn't need to be this long. This length would do me fine to be able to plug it in somewhere else. And that would make it a lot easier, but I haven't done it yet. And who knows if we ever will. I know you can get replacement cables though. We shall see. So yeah, what do you think? Have you got a Victor V9? Have you ever used a Victor V9? If you see a cheap Victor V9, you can still get the hose adapters from Victor and for any of them. I think you couldn't go far wrong. They do make a very nice, decent dry vacuum. But yeah, two years of pretty much pure abuse and counting. Ours oh, is still going strong. So thank you, Victor, for sending it over. I do a cordless one now, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be nice if we could have one of those to review? <laughs> but until the next time, I and definitely my Victor V9 vacuum cleaner will see you soon. Bye bye.